Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is your Wax Girl, and I am back. And tonight, I think I've started a new segment. It's called, uh, like, Craft Night or something. I don't know. I haven't come up with a name yet. But um, it's basically where, if I have friends, I feel like I would sit down and we would work on crafts together. But because I don't have friends, at least not ones that live locally, I'll just drink and craft by myself and talk to you. <laughs> Lucky you. So I've got a drink. Cheers. This is um, basically another name for, it's just going to be a comedy of errors. So I thought I would pick something that I've not tried yet, or I have tried and failed miserably at, so I would decided I would try with alcohol and, you know, see how that goes. All right, so, there's something in my eye. I don't want to get wax in my hair. Oh, that's a, yeah, okay. It's like Marge Simpson over here. All right, what's happening? Cute. Okay, but low key, this gardenia wax smells bomb. Mm. Okay, so here's kind of my setup for anyone who's curious because we love our double boiler method here in the candle world. You got your electric burner or your stove top. I mean, whatever. You could be ghetto like me. And then you got your pot of water, not pot. And then you're going to stick your nasty pot of old wax in here to melt. I'll tell you a secret it's 2017 almost 2018 and I finally just started watching Breaking Bad okay I finally cleaned it out so I'm gonna before I do anything I've already spilled wax on my table so we are going to Normally I would measure things, but because I'm not sawing these candles, I don't care so much, especially because it's scent that I don't care that much about. So I'm going to dump in what I feel like is an appropriate amount of wax, and then I'm just going to dump in some scent. I... Here we go. So for you. Okay. So for you. Please don't get in the pot, because it's not my pot. This is taking too long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that seems, that seems like too much. All right, well, yeah, it should be fine. All right. And now we drink. I'm pretty close. I'm going to throw in my color now. So because I don't want these like super, super dark, I'm just going to break one of these little tabbies in half. They're these cute little diamond shaped ones. If you have any question about where I get any of my products, where I sell my products, or, or like where I buy my supplies, all that, let me know in the comments. I can direct you with the specific link on exactly where I buy these. So this is mahogany dye chip. They come in these cute little triangles, or <laughs> they come in these cute little diamond shapes, okay? And what I love about these versus liquid is that they're the same size every time. So I just literally break them in half and I use the, because they always don't break super evenly, I use the smaller half. And then if I need more, I'll use more. So I just pop that in there. Once it's up to a certain temperature, it'll just naturally start melting your dye. So to like, Make sure that I don't completely ruin these. After I pull my wax out of the water, after I pour, pull my melt pot out of the water, I do get a wipe down with a folded up paper towel, A, so I don't burn myself. But also because I don't want my pot accidentally dripping water into my wax as I'm pouring it. That would be terrible. I mean, it could have been worse. 
See how it's just wax all in between, which is fine. I'll just break the wax on the edges. See, these ones are a little bit better right here. Just that one, actually. I'll break the wax and try to pop off the extra bits before popping them out. All right, this is this is the part where I get nervous because I've never done this before. So I have more wax melting. I'm gonna throw in, I'm gonna make this really gold. I've decided, like, I want this to be like shockingly gold. So here's my, my goldy guy. Whole thing, it's all or nothing. All right, first things first. Give me this, get off of it. Okay, so we're gonna break in my new piping tips. This is super exciting. I think my sister opened this. Oh no, she's probably just trying to hold this piece. Uh, she's probably just trying to hold this piece down when she was wrapping it. Never mind. Why would she want to open it anyway? Uh, okay. So I think what I really wanted to do was like probably not be that size. I think this one, this little baby star, because they're not terribly big on the top, and you can press longer to make it wider. So I think we'll do the baby star. I don't know which one this is because they're not numbered. Not that one. Oh, I like that one though. No, no, no. Baby star. Baby star. Okay, it's melted. It's yellowy. I can't really show you this without like spilling wax. Um, so now you just want to let it cool and it's going to start, you're going to want to whip, stir, whip, whatever you got and get some air into it too and that help cool it down. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the part where I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know what? Just do whatever you want. Okay. Okay. So basically to help speed things along, I have one of these like milk frothers and I use this for wax just to whip some air into it and it helps cool it down faster too which is nice, um, but you also kind of whip it before you pipe, put it in the piping bag I've seen, or at least people are stirring it or whisking it. If you have like an immersion blender with a whisk attachment, I've seen that, but this is what I got. It was like two or three bucks at Ikea, so it was super inexpensive, so I don't feel bad about using it for wax instead of food. I probably end up buying another one, but this is how, this is the tool if you ever saw my one about making my basic bitch candle which looked like a latte with foam on top. This is what I used to make the foam. I just whipped it and whipped it and whipped it and, until I basically, the motor couldn't work on this thing anymore because it was too thick. Uh, so same idea, but you're not gonna get to that stage or anywhere near it. You're just gonna get to a stage where it's like frosting texture or thickness. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I made it to wait longer. We'll see. Let's just do it one more time. I didn't bring a glass over here. So stupid. Okay. Let's just start with that. Let's see how that goes. Oh jeez. Hmm. Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. You can't even see it. <laughs> I actually didn't scent this wax because I wasn't sure if it would work out. Okay, these are super cute. Let's do one. Because it's unscented, I could definitely put a yellow blob on one of these, but I have some that I messed up. There it is. Some of these I messed up on. I tried to push them out too early, so they're a little rounded. So let's try it on these up close and personal. Okay. So here's the thing. I know people are going to ask me if they watch this video, what temperature is it at? It's not about what temperature it is because different waxes melt and harden at different temperatures. It's more about the consistency. So this is like a real thickened up, like custard kind of consistency. So you just like, 
yeah, this would be a lot better if I hadn't been drinking. It looks like a pom-pom. Look how cute that is. My camera is like, hell no, I'm not going to focus on it. That's fine. Aww. We're going to do a little bit of wax and we're going to try this out. My wax is starting to get hard, so again, we have to go kind of quick. The nice thing about holding this wax in your hand is it does soften it up if it's not completely hard yet. So take that into consideration. Okay, um, let's pop, oh god, I did also make all these little star guys, I figure you could do one color and then pop one of these on top once they're hard, um, if you use like a little spatula knife or something, okay, so these come out, whoa, super easily. <laughs> As you can see, we'll just do three of them. I figured this would be super cute. I have a couple other ideas of cool things with this that I'm going to experiment with for before sharing with you guys. But. Ta-da. Look how cute that is. That's like a little. This is what I wanted to call bonbons because with like frosted tops. Do you see how cute these are? Oh, I touched it. Poop. All right, let's pop some more out because I just want to keep going. This is why the silicone's nice. After these have sat pretty much all night, then I will go through and clean them up because I know there's little edges hanging on from me spilling the wax everywhere. Oh, some of these are really soft. Oops. Let's just make a little army of them. Yeah, some of these edges are not so great. But you can really run your hands under warm water and rub your hands around the edges. Also, my silicone mold makes these little like dots on top that look really super inappropriate, so I'm not going to show you again. <laughs> but putting this wax on top will kind of just finish them out nicely. Alright. Here we go. Speed round, guys. Because it's late and I want to go to bed. I need to finish this. I love you all guys so, so much. And I will see you on my next video. Peace.